Nigeria is Africa's leading consumer of rice, one of the largest producers of rice in Africa, and simultaneously one of the largest rice importers in the world. This is largely due to non-adoption of high-yielding, climate-resilient rice varieties, accompanying technologies, and mechanization and packaging challenges. Rice is one of Nigeria's important food security crop. It is an essential cash crop for its mainly small-scale producers who commonly sell 80% of total production and consume only 20%. Given the need to boost consumption of locally produced rice, Nigeria introduced a cocktail of solutions which included outright ban on importation of rice and closure of all land borders altogether. The border closure led to a significant increase in demand for domestic rice in Nigeria, followed by an improvement in the quality of domestic parboiled milled rice. With domestic production barely able to hit the expected 12 million tons per year, the country began to experience a rice crisis as demand exceeded local production. Although there is high potential for rice production in Nigeria, low yields have caused local production to lag behind rising demand, resulting in a large rice import bill for Africa's most populous country. In Nasarawa State, North Central Nigeria, limited access to water is a principal reason for low production of rice. It is believed that with the adoption of proven irrigation technologies, which guarantees year-round cultivation of rice, Nasarawa farmers could contribute significantly to increasing Nigeria's production, thereby lowering importation or smuggling of rice into the country. To achieve this, the Water Enabler Compact of the Technologies for African Agricultural Transformation, TAT-WEC, established demonstration fields and trained about 2,000 youth in Gida, Miyakuya, Madagba, Azuba, Baashai communities in Nasarawa State. In partnership with the TAT Rice Compact, the Water Enabler Compact also introduced farmers and processors at the Buka Sidi Lafia Innovation Platform to modern technologies in water efficient irrigation systems, which make dry season cultivation easier. The irrigation system is designed of shallow tube wells, petrol pumps, and a pressurized PVC pipe conveyance system. This permits the easy lifting of groundwater resources that are available year-round and distributes water to the fields with zero losses. We came particularly to demonstrate the TATWEC technologies to farmers. We wanted the farmers to see the difference between what they have been doing and the technologies that we are promoting. What we set out to do was to make the farmers see basic tools they can use to take water from the feed canals into their feed without necessarily bridging the canals that they used to do. So we introduced pipe.
So we are working as, as in a part of a bigger program. So one of the challenges is water for the farmers, but also the challenge is to have good varieties, right? With better varieties, farmers can also improve, improve their yields. So what we are doing is working together with all these different institutes and give a toolkit of technologies to the farmers. So that is not only the irrigation technologies, that's a very important part, but also to have the right varieties. For example, heat tolerant varieties or have raised, raised bed technology so that farmers can be more efficient with the water. Sponsored by the African Development Bank as part of its Feed Africa initiative, TAT's main objective is to improve the business of agriculture across Africa by raising agricultural productivity, mitigating risks, and promoting diversification and processing in 18 agricultural value chains within eight priority intervention areas. The program increases agricultural productivity through the deployment of proven and high-performance agricultural technologies at scale along selected nine commodity value chains, including rice. These work with six enabler compacts addressing transversal issues such as soil fertility management, water management, capacity development, policy support, attracting African youth in agribusiness, and fall armyworm response. The TAT Water Enabler Compact is led by the International Water Management Institute, IUMI, while Africa Rice leads the TAT Rice Compact. TAT WEC activities are implemented in Nigeria through the Institute of Agricultural Research, IAR, at the Amadou Bello University, Zaria. The relatively low investment costs of the water-efficient irrigation system made it very attractive for Nigeria's rice farmers to intensify agriculture and significantly increase their income. I would like to see government coming in to pick up this innovation, to scale it up to some other area in the state. Even from the exception of the project with the EMU and the AR and the, the IP, we visited the, the Minister of Agriculture introducing this technology then, and they promised to see, but up to now I've not seen them, but yet we're still expecting that they should be able to pick up this technology to scale it up for other people to use with it. With expanding knowledge of the technologies, farmers now cultivate rice as a second crop during the dry season, increasing opportunities and possibilities for cultivating alternative and more lucrative crops such as tomatoes and other vegetables. Mm -hmm.